you know, you take metal that's cold and doesn't just look at it a piece of round wire, but you can really move it and manipulate it anyway once you heat it up and know what you're doing. So actually, I started in high school making jewelry. Uh, my instructor was a, a, a silversmith, and he was also an art teacher, and he, you know, he saw I was interested in making jewelry. I learned, you know, the old-fashioned way of making uh, silverware, flatware, teapots, tea sets, and then, of course, jewelry kind of came along right with it, you know. So, but my other hobby is I make steel sculpture, outside steel sculpture, and I do, um, you know, my blacksmithing, too. A friend of mine's a blacksmith. I used to go over there and watch him work, and then I, he asked me to, you know, jump in with him a little bit, so... I started working on the anvil and I got really interested in it. You start with, a, say, a piece of six gauge wire, round wire, and you just don't want a straight round piece. You want some interesting designs on it. So you have to do a drawer out, which means you have to lengthen the metal by putting it on the face of the anvil and, and hammering it one direction and then flipping it over and hammering it in the other direction. And that way all four sides will be hammered. And that way you start from round and you turn it into a square. And then that square gives you edges. With the edges you can heat it up and then you can put it into the, uh, the vise and then twist it and you get all your different twists on it. So that way you, you make a design through the whole thing. When I find things, I look at them to see what I can make out of them. When I find things, and I find things everywhere, and like this steel that you see here, it comes from everywhere. I mean, it's pieces of old cars, pieces of wagons, pieces of old buildings, steel. When I see something like that, I say, what can I do with it? How do, I, how do I change that? And that inspires me to be able to do that, you know, to just change the form into something else.